Hello everyone, my name is Miss and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today, we are going to be doing Inkling's classic mode route, An Incredible Journey. So for this one, Inkling's opponents use alternate costumes that match the general color scheme of the stage they are fought on, which references the Turf War mode in the Splatoon games. So, let's get started with this. So as always, we are going to be doing 5.0 and it's going to be interesting to see how this goes considering I haven't played in some time. So first up we have Lucario and Sheik on Yoshi's Island Melee. They both use green since green is the central color scheme of the stage. Ow. I thought I could have- Oh, why didn't I just look at the bottom border thing so I wouldn't have gotten hit? I, I don't know why I d did that. So, up next we have Greninja on Magikant, and Magikant is m mostly uses pink. Now, I do believe there's more characters with pink alternate costumes, so I don't know why, why, um, um, why Greninja. Oh, shoot! I want the Flying Man. I want the flying man! I- Oh, I'm stuck. Flying man, don't die! No! <laughs> flying man was trying to go like, I'll save you. How did I get it perfect? I thought I got hit. Well, anyways, we have Wario and Duck Hunt on Norfair, which... I'm guessing they use red and brown as the main colors because there is no correlation between Duck Hunt and Norfair. Ow. The only correlation I can see is the duck part be being red and black, which is what Wario is right now. You need to... I they're just knocking me back and forth between them. Ow. Ow. Oh, for the love of God, that was ridiculous. I've never seen them go that hard in a... Oh, God, no. This is a lowland Vulpix. Seriously, how coordinated do are they being right now? Whatever we got, done with it. Alright, up next is Giant Yoshi on Summit. Ready, go. So, that, so, that is fun, since, well, we're fighting Yoshi in this color scheme because of Summit using a light blue color scheme. The problem I have is, why is Yoshi giant? We didn't face a giant Greninja, but we have to face a giant Yoshi. Oh god, I'm out of ink. Stop it! Yeah, oh, fuck off. How is he still alive? Oh god. Really? I thought I let go of the smash button before he did. How did, was he faster? Come on. Do you- The fish should have eaten him. He was in the water still. What the hell? So the fish completely avoids him but actually eats me. Yeah, that's totally fair. That was completely unfair. How did the fish avoid him but eats me? That makes no sense. Up next we have Shulk, Ness, and Mewtwo on Fountain of Dreams. Most they using purple and black color schemes. For this stage. And judging how 
the other battles I've gone so far, guess what? I'm probably gonna die in this match. Come on! This is getting ridiculous. Seriously, they're positioning themselves in ways that cause them to combo me. Really? No! Stop! Oh my god! No! Why? I did not run off the stage! No, I was- I did not pick that up! Oh my fucking god, I hate this game! Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm trying to get rid of it! Come on! Oh my god, I, why is this ball the way it is? I know I'm playing better than this. It's just the game is being stupid right now. And Okay, what the heck? I'm seriously going to throw these controllers at the wall! You get the hell out of here! I'm sick and tired of you! That really pissed me off. Up next, we have two Inklings on Moray Towers. So, imagine how my frustration is going to be with this one. Because for some reason, the game likes to say that I'm playing terribly when I'm not. God, I hate that the- Okay, I wasn't even pre- Why was I- I was pressing up and it kept saying that I was using a neutral attack. Oh my god. They just keep avoiding my- my smash attacks! So that- like, you saw that was a free-for-all, and if either of the costumes are being played as the two default Inkling, Inkling in colors, the default Inkling girl and boy will be used for the CPU instead. But anyways, up next we have the bonus stage, which, as you all know, judging by how this has gone so far, I'm probably going to die on. Because the game likes to be mean to me. I don't know what this game's problem is today, but I've never played this badly before. Go Jump up there! My god! Oh my god. Get the- Well, I'm not making it. Oh, what the hell? Stop using the attack! I don't know why I used that attack when I wasn't even pressing the trigger that way to use it. Complete. Well, up next we have the boss, which is Marks on the Mysterious Man Dimension. Now, Marks was most likely used as the boss of the Sprout due to his multicolored wings. So, let's see how well I, how well I can do this before dying. Um, 
I thought what I saw was lying, but apparently it's not. This bot, the boss, it actually has a Splatoon song playing in the background. <clears throat> oh god. I didn't think that hit the bottom of the screen. You can tell that I haven't faced marks in a long time. I know it's been less than a year, but still, it's been some time. Oh shoot! What the? Jump! Why is the not jumping? Oh my god. Oh my s I'm seriously gonna- Why is it not jumping when I'm telling it to jump? Not again. Oh shoot! Fuck off! Oh my god! Finally! My god! That did not need to happen! I don't know where was up with this route in the bottom half. But it just got more and more frustrating. And I can do better than that as Inkling. That's the problem. So, like I said, the thing that I thought was a lie was that every stage, except for the bonus stage, played a track from the Splatoon universe, no matter what, un wh what universe it originates from. And, and as an addition, the music that plays when fighting marks is Calamari Incantation instead of his standard theme. And for completing Inkling's classic mode route, the song that's playing for the credits is Bomb Rum Blush. But this actually takes care of our first of the Smash Ultimate newcomers. Which me, also, the rest of the videos are now going to be Smash Bros. Ultimate videos until I finish Classic Mode with all the characters. Which could take a while considering the Smash Ultimate newcomers is probably the biggest block of competitors I'm going to do this with. But... That just means that I will hopefully have enough practice when it comes to these characters later on down the road. I don't want it to end up like the Smash 4 characters where I had a horrible time just trying to get through them. Oh god, I almost missed that. Also, if you guys have followed up with how the characters, the order in which the characters were announced, you probably already know who the next character is going to be. I'm also hoping that I have a much easier time with the next character, which hopefully will happen considering the next character is one of the strongest characters in the game. If that will work with what well, with um, trying to get through the class mode quickly and without dying. Hopefully it happens. But anyways, that is it for the credits of Inkling's classic mode route. And as for a congratulations screen, we have Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl. And from the Squid Sisters, I cannot tell what stage that is whatsoever, so... It might be more eight towers, I don't know. As for our rewards, 
we got Abra from the Pokemon series, and that's it. So, that's it for Inkling's Classic Mode route. On Monday, we'll be playing Ridley's Classic Mode route. It can't be Space Pirates. So until then, my name is Pemis, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.